this short video about how to set up and test the device drivers included in TI Processor SDK RTOS. Processor SDK RTOS is a unified software development package that is designed to help users to quickly develop applications on TI processors using TI Realtime OS or bare metal or no OS software environment. The device drivers included in the Processor SDK RTOS allows users to exercise peripheral interfaces on the target platform. The drivers are provided inside a software component called Platform Development Kit or PDK. For the purpose of this video, let's look at the Processor SDK RTOS release for AM57XX device. The device drivers can be located in the PDK package under Packages TI DRV. Users can test the device drivers on the EVM platform using the example and test provided in the driver package. In order to create CCS projects for the device driver examples, users are required to set up the SDK build environment as described in the getting started guide and then run the PDK project create script. This allows SDK to pick up the user specified development environment to create CCS projects that can be built out of the box. Let us now set up the processor SDK RTOS build environment as described in the getting started guide. The video assumes that you've already installed Code Composer Studio and processor SDK RTOS on your host machine. One of the first steps is to set up Code Composer Studio environment with processor SDK RTOS components. Launch CCS with a new workspace. If you have installed the processor SDK RTOS under default path C colon TI, CCS auto discovers all the processor SDK RTOS components. If you haven't installed the processor SDK RTOS under default path, then you will need to add the install path to the product discovery in CCS. Once the products are discovered, click finish and restart CCS for the changes to take effect. Once CCS restarts, you can see that the processor SDK RTOS components are found in the installed products under CCS. The next step requires users to set up the build environment from the command line and generate the CCS projects using PDK project create. Change directory to the path where you've installed processor SDK RTOS. Depending on your installation, set the paths accordingly. First, set the SDK install path. If you have also installed Code Composer Studio under custom path, also set the tools install path macro. Once the two macros are set, change directory to the root processor SDK RTOS directory and run the script setup env.bat. The setup environment script ends by displaying the build environment setup for the processor SDK RTOS. Confirm that all the component paths have been set correctly. You are now ready to run the PDK project create script to generate the CCS projects. In order to do this, change directory to PDK packages as shown in the video. The PDK project create script needs to be invoked with the syntax as shown in this wiki. Let us use one of the examples that is provided on this wiki in order to generate test projects for AM572X GPEVM platform. Invoking the PDK project create script using this syntax will generate CCS projects for all device drivers for the ARM core. Once the script has run, you can locate the example projects created under packages my example projects. You can now import the projects by going into CCS and import the CCS projects from my example projects folder. 
you can now build the projects by right clicking on the project and hitting build. Once the out file is built, you can choose to connect an emulator to the target platform and load and run this out file on the SOC. That's all we have to cover in this video. All relevant links to reproduce the setup will be provided in the description below. Oh,